Good morning. Getting this morning kick started. Just did a nice little workout. Getting my fruit intake in. Hey, they got this on good. So this is a cost efficient way of doing it. Oh yes, my cup. at it at work work day work day being productive because hard work pays off so I got some new beers in this is from the Martin House brewery it's made in Texas for Texans the salty lady true love and a Martin House Pilsner and to expand my line of craft beers IPAs and other good beers because I think there's a shortage of that in this city. There's not a lot of places around this town that carry it, except for all these domestic beers like Bud Light, Coors Light, all the stuff that's easy to find around here. Drinking there. Some Palm Wonderful Antioxidant Superpower. It's pretty good pomegranate juice. Mmm. My brother-in-law sent me some mangoes from the Philippines. I just got done snacking on it, and I gotta reseal this up. I'm glad I got this, because I can use this to make an airtight seal, keep my mangoes fresh. I bet I'll finish it within the next week, though, because I'm a mango killer. in there and wrap that's how you keep food fresh make sure there's no air inside of it whether it be fruit or real food let's go like this and then this air tie Camera eats first. Mm, yum, 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 yum. At the car wash. Time to get our vehicle squeaky clean. Customers, my friends, has a truck. His battery died. He gave me a text this morning, so I'm gonna head out there and give him a little hand jumping it. There he is. Hey, there he is. <laughs> Mug into the air. Take that. This is to charge the block. It's already charged. Okay, so there's a here, lift that flap up. Last time I jumped your brother's battery, this time I'm jumping yours. I know, man. <laughs> I think I left it running. I left my lights on. All oh, night. so the battery's still good then, you think? Yeah, I, yeah it, it shouldn't be nothing wrong with the battery. Actually. I left it on. You just got to turn it on. Okay, it should be on, yeah. See, what it say. see flip the on switch there. there you see, go. it's 94% battery. Okay, go ahead, connect the red to the red and the black to the black. Yeah. 
Yo. Mind if I upload this one to YouTube later? Oh, oh no. <laughs> As long as you don't get me looking too good. No, you can be looking all right. Hey, get it clamped on there, Peyton. Get it clamped on there good. Okay. Ah. Here. Here, I'll hold it on there. Hey, that Here. is that plastic piece. Here, go ahead. Fire it up. Let's see if it's going to... <laughs> so he's gonna go and get some gas for his SUV because it looks like he left it running last night and it might have drained his gas too. I heard it start up, but then it cut out, kind of died out. Was it what you're doing? I felt like that. Patting your face, mm. makeup. Mm. All right. How much did you pay for that? Man, it's like a $20 thing. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get me one. You might have to buy one? Hell yeah. I'm gonna leave you stranded. All right, you're welcome. And I'll probably be It is Saturday night. You know, originally I was supposed to go hog hunting tonight, but there was a change of plans and I'm at home. I'm gonna relax at home. Enjoy this nice bowl of ramen that's been made here and just chill with my wife at home mm -hmm. tomorrow though we're expecting to go out and about it's our day off and hopefully I got some more good content for y'all to watch so that we can record some interesting things I'm charging my drone up right now and hopefully get some nice aerial footage and stuff for you it's been a minute since I took this machine out into the air. And good morning. It is finally Sunday and it is our day off. Gonna take my wife out and do some traveling around the area. The Louisiana area is really huge and I haven't explored a lot of areas of it today. Went on to Google and searched for a couple of different places to visit and I found a place. And we are out of the house. We are on the way to Natchitoches. It says it's going to take about an hour and a half to get there. I like taking a break from our routine daily work lives and traveling to new places that we've never visited before. What's that? A bag, a shopping bag. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Mom sent this out from Korea. <laughs> oh. It's like a nice shopping bag you can use over and over again. Yeah. Oh, this is our exit. The exit. Then keep right to merge onto I-49 south toward Alexandria. We are on the way. Look at all these merging bridges. Alright, we are officially in Natchitoches. It's kind of a cloudy day out here today. About 95 degrees in temperature. Looks like some kind of a dormitory or a school. Some place that people stay in over there. There's a Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, Louisiana History Museum, Northwestern State University. Ah. So it's a school right around here. Oh, this is the downtown area. There's some old, old looking homes out here. I bet these homes have been here for hundreds of years. A lot of the architecture around here is based off of the French culture. 
I'm gonna try to look for some of those cool looking buildings. Kind of interesting. Rose, are you getting hungry? Mmm, so so. I saw a Mexican restaurant on the way in and then. Arrive at Natchitoches. Okay, we're in Natchitoches now. Hmm. What's that building? A hotel? Hotel? Mm hmm, that's a hotel. Let's see what Google says about exploring Nechitoshis. It's a national historic landmark district including French Creole townhouses. The minor basilica with its stained glass windows and the 19th century Café Frederic General Mercantile, the city's oldest general store. The Mindering Cane River runs south to plantations within the, Crane, within the Cane River Creole National Historic Park. These include the 18th century Oakland Plantation. Set amid aged oak trees, this intact Creole plantation includes the main house and various outbuildings. Farther south, Magnolia Plantation has its original cotton press on display along with slave cabins. The Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame in downtown Natchitoches tells the story of local sports stars. The building also houses the Northwest Louisiana History Museum with displays on the 3,000 year history of inhabitants in the region including items from Native American civilizations, southeast of the city. Kisanchi National Forest has hiking trails through the acres of pine trees. Going to an Italian restaurant and it's just right around this corner here. Is Riverfront Restaurant. It's first time coming here. How do you say that? Magilux? Magilux? There's uh, crab cakes, mushroom bites, meat pies, spinach, sandwiches, salads. Hmm. You want a sandwich? A wrap? There's Alfredo. Uh -huh. Creamy Alfredo with grilled or blackened chicken or shrimp. Mm -hmm. How's that water, Rosa? Good quality water? Okay. Shrimp. Oh boy. Good. <laughs> oh, I'm stuffed. That's good eating. Oh, there's a river behind you. Look at that. Hmm. Did you like it? Yes. Yes. This is the riverfront where the restaurant is over here in this direction and then everything back here is where the river is at. So just enjoying the nice waterfall breeze that's coming up here and it's cool in the shade. It's not that bad. It's actually bearable. Whoa. Wow, look at all the flowers down there. It's 
so down here is a nice area. Hmm. It's a nice little view over here too. some pretty good footage out here with my drone when I connected it I guess this is the area and I'm in there's just a message that popped up that said that I had to fly with Koch and so I didn't want to bring my drone up too high because of possible crash landings or something you know I've had that happen one time before anyways we're still just enjoying the breeze out here and out of here in a little bit. Session. I like exploring places like this, making the geography. But it's nice to walk around and explore. And well, I think we're supposed to go this way in the gate. That's the road. Yes. I guess that's the American dream of a lot of people. Own a big old bike and go around on an auto motorbike and just enjoy it. <laughs> He's living his best life. It's kind of cool. Looks like souvenirs, knickknacks, just stuff. Lots of stuff that people don't need. The things you end up owning, end up owning you. <laughs> that was a good exploring session over there where the Italian food was. Hello. 96 degrees out here. Hello. Unless you're in the shade or the AC, it is gonna be hot. <laughs> So we are on to the plantation. We're gonna see what this historic location looks like. Down this two lane narrow road. Look at all this cotton. All that white stuff on top of there. That's cotton. This must be the plantation. Here it is, it says the 
turn into here. It's long, eh? In 900 feet, Cane River Creole will be on your right. Historical Park Oakland Plantation. So here we are. Gonna go and see what's around here. It looks like there's a billboard for walking on. It's like a self-guided. Hmm, it says this way to the trail. Discover Oakland Plantation. Begin your visit in the pavilion where you find park maps. Walk to the plantation store for passport stamps and to talk with staff. You are entering one of the most intact plantations in the south. Plantations consisted of fields, pastures, gardens, and numerous buildings. The main house conveyed success, but was only a small part of a plantation. Far more important was the work done beyond the main house. Here back of the big house is where the workers enslaved the sharecropper did the work that produced the wealth. Plantations resembled small towns. Very rarely do you encounter original outbuildings where generations of people worked and lived, including barns, smokehouses, kitchens, storehouses, sheds, cabins, and different kinds of machinery. All right, we got a site map here. The central structure of the mule barn was built as a smokehouse in the 1820s. The pigeon ear. So like, we're gonna make our way this way. We're over here. And that's where landowners in the French colony of Louisiana, the Prud homes harvested young pigeons for a delicacy called squab. Okay, so they got the square corn crib and cistern built around 1821. The corn crib was used to store grain for the plantation. Rainwater was channeled from the crib roof. Got the overseer's house. So he was responsible for the management of the plantation laborers, the stock, land, tools. They were constructed by enslaved labor in 1861. All kinds of houses. What was that? Bottle house? Decorate gardens, carpenter shops, cook's house. Hmm. This place is of French descent. There's a description to say the founder of Oakland was Jean Pierre Emmanuel Prud home and he began farming the area in 1785 and received a Spanish land grant in 1789. Eight generations of his French Creole family lived and worked on this land so they managed to keep the physical complex intact for two centuries. It's a long time that this place has been intact for. Workers of African descent. The skills and strengths of enslaved African Americans are evident in the buildings they constructed at Oakland Plantation, originally called Bermuda. The proficiency of enslaved blacksmiths, such as Solomon Williams, for example, can be seen in iron latches and hinges, in numerous grave crosses from the cemetery, and in collection of skillfully made well drilling tools. Descendants of the many enslaved workers remained at Oakland as tenant farmers and sharecroppers. These farmers sought to glean a small living as well as a bit of freedom from their labors. The vibrant African American communities in the Natchitoches region today trace 200 years of cultural history to this fertile land surrounding the Cane River. Rosa, we're exploring a piece of history. Come on, let's check out what this place is all about.
that's the mule barn. That's where they kept the donkeys, I bet. Oh, you thought those were real donkeys? Oh, I thought so too. Hee haw! Oh, this is where the pigeoneer is. So this is where they were raising pigeons and then they ate pigeons. This is what they ate. Raising them in here. It's kind of interesting. This is the carpenter shop. This is where all the tools are made. And it says to go this way. The slave tenant cabin to the right or to the store. Which way you want to go, Rosa? So it looks like over here is where the actual houses that the ro the workers or the tenants lived at. Let's see what this sign says on this one. It says enter from back. This is the one seer's house. This is I bet the person who oh I have a number that I can call to discover the park. That's pretty cool. Let's call this number here. Okay, number is 585-421-7340. Come on, Rosa, let's go back to the back one. Right here, this way. Tour stops 1 through 10 are at Oakland, and tour stops 11 through 17 are at the Magnolia Plantation. The cell phone tour map will show all the buildings that are featured in the tour. When you reach a building, dial this same number, then enter the number for that particular stop. Yeah, I think this is you six. Will see blue numbered sign. Enter your cell number now, or press star zero to leave it. You are currently at stop six, the slave tenant cabin. These buildings were originally the homes of slaves, but for most of their existence, they were the homes of tent farmers or sharecroppers. Many of those families and individuals were former slaves or descendants of former slaves who continued to toil the fields where their ancestors had labored. Tenant farmers and sharecroppers did not own their own farms, and in order to work the land, they had to turn over a share of the crop to the landowner. These people would shop for goods at the plantation store on a credit system. When the crop came in, they had to settle their debt with the landowner and the plantation store, and whatever was left over was their net profit. If it was a bad growing season, or if the bull weevil invaded the crop, the sharecroppers might be in debt at the end of the year. It was extremely difficult to get ahead under this labor system. So many farm workers from the south began migrating to large northern cities to find better jobs. By the 1950s, the small numbers of sharecroppers that were still here were permanently displaced by the modern tractor. No. Huh. That's interesting. I guess this is where they make their food. <laughs> Everything is intact. It's like a piece of history we're walking through right now. I think we saw enough of a uh, plantation today. That's the Oakland Plantation. Rosie, you want some ice cold coffee? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take you to Starbucks. Yes, yes. <laughs>
tour. It is 2019. Back in the day when they were doing these plantations and picking cotton out of the fields, they didn't have no air conditioning. We got it so good these days. It's the simple things wow. you come to appreciate. I think if the cloud wasn't up there, mm. it'd be a lot hard, hotter today. Oh, we got it good. On our way back, uh, time to nap. We still got a uh, ways to go, so <laughs> time to relax before getting a bite to eat at like Chipotle. Looks like the truck stop we're at, these truck drivers are getting some rest over there too. Truck drivers drive a lot. They drive all the way across the United States. They make good money though. It's just not a profession that lasts for a long time. I'm all recharged. Ready to hit this road again. 27 more minutes. We'll get there. No, your dress looks fine. Come on, let's go, Rosa. I'm hungry. Yum, 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 yum. Chipotle. Yum. Rosa, you like it? Chipotle. You got vegetables, meats in there. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Now we're all stuffed, ate our Chipotle and doing some browsing around, shopping around. These new laptops are getting better and better. This is the Dell Inspiron. 13.3 inches, 4K technology. The good thing about these ones is that they have solid state drives, so anything that gets stored on the hard drive, it's going to be good for multitasking and very fast upload open speeds. This one's got an Intel 8th generation iCore 7, a 13.3 inch monitor. Camera is in right here, you can connect through it. And I'm back. My neighbor, Jaden, let me borrow his MacBook. I'm thinking of purchasing this for Final Cut Pro editing and using this whole MacBook Air. I'm getting the free software download for 30 days and going to give it a test run, see how it runs with this system. My other laptop. I'm using it to edit videos, but if I could do it with this in a good, efficient, productive way, good speed, Final Cut Pro X might be giving me some better edits in the future.